The partial quotient algorithm is another strategy that you can use to figure out how to divide a large digit number, which is usually a two, three, or four digit number. Here are some vocabulary words that you will need to remember while learning this new strategy. Divisor, which is the number that is outside of the house or the number that is divided into the larger number. The dividend, which is a number inside of the house or the two, three, or four digit number that is being divided. The quotient, which is the number that is the answer that you arrive at at the end of a division problem. A multiple, the number that is the answer to a multiplication problem. And partial meaning part or sum. Here are the steps to using the partial quotient algorithm. Step one, think of a multiple of the divisor that is also a multiple of 10. This number usually ends in a zero and is in the tens place, hundreds place, or thousands place. Here, the divisor is three. So a multiple of this divisor that is also a multiple of 10 is 300. You want to get a multiple that is very close to the dividend, which is 725. Step two, you want to subtract the multiple that you arrived at from the dividend to arrive at the difference. Remember, the difference is an answer in a subtraction problem. So 725 minus 300 gives you the difference of 425. Under the quotient column, you want to create a quotient column next to your problem. Place the divisor and the factor used to arrive at the multiple. So the multiple you arrived at was 300. So we arrive at that number by multiplying 3 times 100, which equals 300. So our quotient is 100. Step four, you want to repeat that step over and over until you can no longer use a multiple of 10. So here, after we arrived at 425, we continued with 300 as a multiple, 120, and three. The corresponding quotients were written in the quotient column, 100, 100, 40 and 1. Sometimes, but not always, you will have a remainder. Leave the remainder there. We'll come back to it later. Step 5. You want to add all of the quotients. So here are all of our quotients in pink. 100, 100, 40, and 1. So we added them together here at the bottom and arrived with the sum of 241. Now remember when I said don't forget about our remainder here of 2? We'll see what we do with it in the next step. In step 6, in the final step, you want to multiply your sum of the quotients, which was 241, times your original divisor, which is 3. And the answer is 723. But you're not done yet. Remember that little remainder of 2? You want to take that remainder and add it to 723. Once you have done that, you have arrived at your original dividend. This is a way of just checking to make sure your answer is correct.